<laughs> I know, right? Can you see why we had to share this one? We found a lot of information about Philip. Oh, so my it says, God. Yeah. <laughs> So it says that Philip Busca, he was 75 years old at the time. Uh, he'd been residing in Great Falls, Montana for about 35 years. And he was living in just a small shack. You know, he made a modest living on the outskirts of town. He was raising his chicken to make a living. And so on the day in question, Busca had been in town to sell some of his chickens, for which he received $22. That was probably quite a bit back then. Yeah. Unbeknownst to Philip, his chicken wealth did not go unnoticed in Great Falls. In town that day, there were two shady characters, or two shady clowns to be more precise. Both men worked as rodeo clowns when they worked. Ray Blackie Brooks was an ex-convict whose r criminal record included arrests in Washington State and Nevada for intoxication, robbery, and assault. Paul Miller was a native of Bozeman, Montana and had been arrested previously for intoxication and assault. They were both intoxicated that night. According to a written confession later made by Miller, he and Brooks had been drunk that day and continued to drink in town until 8 p.m. At that point, the two clowns hatched their dastardly plan. They would go to the home of Busca and steal his chickens. Things did not go according to plan. The two men severely assaulted Busca, though Miller claimed not to remember the assault because of his drunkenness. The men stole two of Busca's newly earned $22, they took his watch, and they took Busca's shotgun. As Miller explained, they were afraid that Busca would shoot them with it if they didn't steal the gun. They did not get away with any chickens. Don't with rodeo clowns. That's what I take out of this. Yeah. 